first, let's go live to Whitney. That's right. Well, right now we are at the corner of Central and Monroe. This is where police pushed back those protesters that were just a few blocks away in front of the convention center. This look you have right here is the Phoenix Police Department has this portion of Central blocked off. At this point, the crowd uh, thinning, most of the people that were in this area are leaving. We want to show you some of the video that we shot earlier, just a couple blocks away from outside the Phoenix. Phoenix Convention Center. We were standing there. Uh, I heard some type of commotion and then a loud bang and then smoke in the area. And I heard a number of loud bangs. Just uh, again, this was just right outside the Phoenix Convention Center where protesters had really been chanting all day. We're now learning from our Phoenix uh, affiliate station, ABC 15, that they're reporting tear gas was tear gas was used on police. The Phoenix Police Department. Uh, tweeted that they were addressing some criminal behavior. So at this point, still uh, kind of unclear what happened. But we were hearing reports that some people in the crowd were throwing rocks and bottles at officers. Again, where we are right now, though, near Central and Monroe uh, is calm. This is the area where uh, the police had kind of pushed protesters back and everyone had dispersed. There is still uh, a helicopter overhead. They were telling people to go home. And, you know, right before all of this happened, I was having a conversation with someone with uh, Phoenix police who was saying that, you know, they had thousands of, pe of protesters, they had thousands of people inside, and they hadn't had any issues all day. We do know that Phoenix police had maximum staffing in this area because they knew uh, there was going to be so many people here, and they made it very clear they wanted people to exercise their First Amendment rights, but they were going to not, uh, not accept any criminal activity. So again, Again, we heard a number of loud bangs in this area that we're hearing uh, were tear gas. Unclear uh, what kind of injuries, if any, there were in this incident. Where we are, people leaving for the most part, and things have calmed down. But uh, for about 20 minutes or so there, it really did look like police were just trying to get people out of the area. So we'll give you guys uh, any updates as we get them throughout the evening. Guy, Val, I'll send it back to you. So it sounds like Phoenix police were well, well prepared. Thank you, Whitney. Let's